What's up Lego builders? Welcome back to Coconut Brick Studios for a video that is a little out of the norm for me. I don't typically do a vlog style videos, but I am making my first trip up to the Lego store to buy something in a good little while and I figured I might as well, you know, turn it into a video, take you guys along with me. The lighting and audio may be a little weird just because I'm not used to filming in my car or out and about in public. So we're going to see how this turns out. Could be a really good video, could be really bad. Anyways, all that being said, I am really excited. I'm going to get my first non-Lego Star Wars set that I've wanted to buy in a very long time, pretty much since the Treehouse came out. So it's been a while. And that goes to show you guys, I must be pretty excited about this set to be driving all the way up to the Lego store on the day it's released just to buy it. But if I sit here talking in my car, telling you guys about how excited I am to get it, I'm going to end up missing it. So it's time to get going. That was definitely a bit of a close call. I got there and Lego store hadn't opened up, but there was already a line. I was, I think person number 17 in the line and the guy comes out, you know, sees all right, what's everybody buying? And turns out most people are there for the blacksmith shop. He's like, okay, we've got 16 of the blacksmith shop. I'm standing there at number 17, like, oh shoot. Like this is gonna be really close. Cause if everybody in front of me is getting one, I'm not gonna get one. He's like, We'll put your number, we'll give you, like, we'll take your name if you don't get one today and we'll hold one for tomorrow for you to come get. But I live really far away from the Lego store, so I couldn't come back tomorrow. So I would have had to have waited and ordered it online. Luckily, I get in there. There's four left when I got to the counter. So I picked up my blacksmith shop. There it is sitting right next to me. I'm very excited. I haven't even looked at the box yet. There were some other promo things that she threw in the bag, which... I don't, I don't care about it. I don't even know if I'll build those anyways. So this trip was a success. Now it's time to head back home and open up my bag. All right, I'm back home in my very messy studio and it's time to open up this bag and see what I scored at the Lego store. Although you guys already know what it is for the most part, but there's a few little promos in here that I'm kind of interested to see. So first we have this weird little Year of the Ox. It looks like it's some kind of like buildable ox. Um, I guess this was one of the promos. Not interested in this at all, so I honestly don't really know what I'm going to do with that. And then we've got... It's like a poly bag. Oh, a friend's poly bag. Yeah, definitely not going to be doing anything with that. We'll see. Maybe I'll give it to Mrs. Coconut. She might like that. But... The main reason that I went, the only reason, I should say, to the Lego store today was to get this beautiful, beautiful blacksmith shop. This set is absolutely incredible. This is the first time I've like actually got to see the box because they had them all behind the counter. So, you know, you walk up to the counter and you're like, oh yeah, I want a blacksmith. They put it in the bag. I bought it. Uh, looked around a little bit, went out and drove home. So this is the first time I've actually got to see the box. And I don't know, I really like it. The only thing I don't really like is just how plain the block box is. You know, with this whole 18 plus exclusive thing, they try to go with the, the cool fancy looking black. And I don't like that. I miss, like, I feel like this should have like some woods in the background, maybe like a castle with a dragon breathing fire. Like it's castle, give us some cool castle stuff. But I mean, it, it is just the box. I did see an actual build of this and it's bigger than I expected. So I am just 
Guys, I'm so excited to build this set. Here's a close-up look at the back of the box. You've got a few different rooms right here. Looks like there's a kitchen, the blacksmith forge itself, and then uh, some kind of bedroom, and then a nice little overview of it. View of the, how it comes apart, so it's pretty modular. I mean, even though it is a black box, it is still a really pretty looking box. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And then here are the minifigures that it comes with. So you get a horse, a couple of knights, a blacksmith, and some kind of archer, and a little doggy. A lot of you guys may be a little confused and wondering as to why a Star Wars loving nerd such as myself is just so fixated on this simple castle set, and that is because I absolutely love castle, especially a set like this. I'm gonna explain more in depth as to why I was so excited to get this set in particular in my next episode of A Man and His Bricks, which coincidentally comes out this Sunday. So you guys will only have to wait a few days to figure out why on earth I'm so excited to get this. Yeah, I'm excited to get this built. I'll probably be doing a live stream of it um, either this Saturday or next Saturday. That wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was my first vlog style video. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And don't forget to let me know what you think about the blacksmith shop. Are you getting it? Are you waiting? <clears throat> if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. And as always, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future content. But until next time, happy building.